Yo, what's going on everyone? Miles Midoriya here and in this video we're going to be talking about some top 5 moments from All American Season 5. I will show some of the clips but can't really show too much because of YouTube. Also, if you want to check the clips out for yourself, they will be linked in the description. At number 5, we have JJ leaving the beach house. Even though in a way he brought it on himself, I kind of felt bad for him leaving. You guys went from being my boys to some grumpy old man. Which is why I'm going to go live at Gamma Nu 5 with guys a little closer to my age. It's sort of like they have them going their own way. It's not like they won't be friends and come back together again. It's just, I got a feeling that JJ's going to be spiraling out of control for a bit or do something stupid. The new people he's around, I don't think they're going to help him the way he thinks they're going to help him. So it was sad to see things get to this point between the three of them and just see their friendship change. Number four is Asher and Jamie talking to Coach Montez about his recruiting. I don't know, just when I seen this clip, it just shows growth for Asher and that he cares about what he does. Him feeling a little down about not getting Marco for the team, the coach seeing that, and then him calling in Jamie to get her perspective on it. Jamie went in and spoke positively about him and his passion for the game. After she left, the coach let him know that he did a great job, and when it comes to recruiting players, you can't win them all. In the scene, it seems like the coach is really recognizing Asher and just him working towards being a good coach. I'm glad he's getting these opportunities to show what he's made of, whether he wins or loses in it, and it's just seeing him from the beginning until now when he first lost the opportunity to play football and then him thinking about being a coach, he's come very far. Going to number three, I'm combining two of these clips, but Grace and D'Angelo's wedding, I thought it looked beautiful. I'm glad they added all of this in and it wasn't an off-screen wedding because I would have been a little bit disappointed if they did that. This needed to be shown, just the good times of them having fun, celebrating, getting married. It was fun seeing them have all of their friends and family around. Part two of this was Grace's sister apologizing to her. You could just feel that she wanted to make things right with her sister and I could tell you how things have been between the two of them. But the problem with staying away is that you miss out on so many important moments. They say memories last forever. Well, so do regrets. She felt bad for not being there for her and the boys. She didn't want to be a burden to Grace, but I don't think she would have saw it that way. So this scene was a good emotional one with her speaking how she felt and them becoming cool again. Number two is Jordan talking to Spencer about him transferring, how he didn't really have a coach for him when he played football. When I was at Beverly, I wasn't my dad's guy. You were, but when I spoke to the OC at Wilmot today, the energy felt different. The way he responded to me and listened to me and promised to build their offense around me, man. I thought it was good Jordan spoke up for himself. He didn't want to let Spencer down, but he wants to find his own place when it comes to football. To have that coach that's there for him while he's improving his skills. I'm glad he didn't just go along with helping Spencer. Yes, he needs some backup with some stuff, but he didn't follow through with the plan. He took into consideration what he wanted, and he let Spencer know what it was. Coming in at number one, y'all know I had to add this one in there, Spencer and Olivia's breakup. This scene just set the tone, the music, the acting skills. They made you feel this scene and the sadness they have of breaking up. Liv, I love you. I'm starting to accept the fact that loving you is something I'm gonna probably do for the rest of my life. That's why I gotta put you first. So breaking up with me is putting me first. Spencer telling her how he saw how she was acting when he wasn't there, the joy she has, her breaking up when she was trying to talk to him and then just telling him that that's not where their story ends. And the scene was just so well put together with everything combined. In a way, they portrayed this naturally. It wasn't like, ah, oh, yes, yeah, a breakup scene. It's something that really draws you in when you watch it. I wanted to add two bonus ones. First is Preach losing custody of his daughter. That hurt seeing that happen in that courtroom because Darius wasn't prepared for that as well as Preach having to say goodbye to his daughter for now at least. We know Preach has changed and he's doing better, but that's not how others will see it yet. Comparing this character from when we first met him until now is like night and day, just a little bit. He's gotten older and improved himself for the better so that he can take care of his daughter. Adding that all together, them portraying him getting mad in the courtroom was spot on because he just lost his kid and like you can just see that emotion of him being mad and angry that he won't be able to be around her as much. To him playing it cool when he had to say goodbye to his daughter so she wouldn't get nervous or worried about anything when she goes to her grandparents' house. The other moment is Coop talking to Mrs. Baker after being in court with Preach. Coop was upset with how everything was handled. Like, she let her know that she should not have been on that case. How she thought her background was a weakness and people like Darius were better than her. When Laura said she didn't think that, but Coop let her know that she may not have realized it, but she did. Coop realized that people like Darius aren't better than her and that her life prepared her more than any clerkship. Also, that she's back on the case. 
I like this moment because Coop stood up for herself. Like she realized that she is good enough that she can do this. Don't compare yourself. Don't let your past hold you back. You can do it. Just keep moving forward. And you see Coop is growing and she's starting to take her career in law more seriously. But y'all let me know in the comment section down below. What are your top moments from All American Season 5? Here's some more All American content. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.